Let's review this jacket. All right, so this is the Star-Lord Volume 2 jacket by a company called White Sheep Leather. They're on Facebook, they have a website, and I actually helped them design this jacket. And I absolutely love it. It is phenomenal. The different textures, the fit, it's just comfortable. The accuracy of the design, the color matching, the fabrics, they really outdid themselves. Uh, this is real leather. It's soft in places where it needs to be soft and stiff and hard in places where it needs to be hard. That's what she said. <laughs> it is awesome. I highly, highly recommend them, um, especially the back detail is accurate. It's on point. Everything about this jacket is how I would want it to be. So now everything came like this on this jacket besides the pin. I put the pin there myself and I'm going to probably put magnets behind here and magnet it. So it stays just like this, like they do in the movies, like the movie magic. Um, I'm going to weather it a little bit. And other than that, I think it's perfect. And it's under $200. It's incredible. It takes like two weeks to get to you. And I highly, highly recommend them. The quality, the detail, everything. It's just great. Phenomenal. Here's a video of the front of the jacket. Now you can see all the textures and different types of fabric that they used here. I think there's about four different types in total. You have the red leather, you have the stitched uh, stretch fabric, you have the black and brown-ish leather that has the punched holes and the ribbing and the boning. Man, they did a stellar, stellar job here. Adjustable belts on the wrist. It's just absolutely, absolutely awesome especially all the metal rivets and details that they put into it. It's just great. So much, so much detailed stitch work. Here you can see all the different textures. Look at the texture of the stretch fabric and the texture of the leather. Once this gets weathered, it'll capture all that detail extremely, extremely well. Now this is the back of the jacket and you can see all their details and design on the back. It just looks great. And the accurate neck piece, which is really rare with all these uh, third party makers for the jacket. And I think White Sheep knocked it out of the park and got it perfect for any cosplay or collector. I want to show you guys the zipper. It's like a heavy duty real YKK zipper. All right, so now I'm gonna go and how to weather it. And we're gonna go to the table for that one. All right, to begin the weathering process, I'm gonna take this brown wash that I have, and I'm gonna use a little small brush, and I'm just gonna go around the lines to make the details pop. And I already started here, as you can see this little L shape. So we're just gonna go around all these lines and make this detail really come out. And that's all you gotta do. Like you're highlighting the existing seam lines. And if you have too much paint, you could just take a paper towel and wipe some off before you paint your 
jacket. Now I've had this wash for a very long time, but if you don't feel like going out and buying your own, all you have to do is take acrylic paint and mix it with some water and you have essentially the same thing. All right, so here's the one finished side versus the not finished side. As you can see, it really makes the detail lines pop. And now I'm gonna do the rest of the jacket. All right, now to weather the red leather on the jacket, we're gonna mix the color red from Angelus Leather Paints with a brown from Angelus Leather Paints, and then put a little water in to make a nice wash. So we're gonna start with our lighter color first, and then we'll add the brown. And I'm gonna to try to make enough of this so I can weather the whole jacket and not have to make another batch and try to match the colors. So I'm putting it in one of those disposable Chinese food containers and I'll just seal it back up and use it along my way. So now let's mix these colors up and get the proper shade that I want. And then we'll add some water. All right, so we mixed our colors together. And now this is the color of the wash that I, want, I would like to use. And I put a little water in it. And now I'm just gonna, I already started here. As you can see, it's a little still wet. You're just gonna take it, you're gonna paint it on and then wipe it down with a paper towel. You're gonna let it dry just a little bit while you're doing this. It's drying. Then you take a paper towel and you just pat it down. And it helps capture all the detail in the leather. And then when that's dry, you'll see like nice textures. And you can keep repeating this process over and over. Um, I might also hit it with some brown shoe polish but I don't want it to be shiny. So I'm gonna give the paints a try first. And I'm gonna do that on the front and the back of all the leather, not the cloth. Now it's still a little wet, but this is after some weathering and you can see the browns in there and compared to the original leather red. It's going to look much better once it fully dries and the shine goes away a little. I'm going to put White Sheep Leather's contact details and URL in the description below. Uh, check them out. I highly recommend it. And I also recommend the Star-Lord Cosplay Facebook group if you're looking to cosplay Star-Lord or do anything else from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, they're a great resource. We have some great guys on there. They're a wealth of knowledge, and I highly recommend that group. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And comment about any questions or concerns that you have about this jacket or weathering or anything else, and I'll get back to you when I can. And to the new subscribers, thank you so much for following me. It really means a lot, especially after YouTube uh, changed their policy about the 1,000 subscriber and like 4,000 hours of video uh, to monetize your channel. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys again, and until next time. And please make sure to follow me also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, MySpace, all that other crazy crap. <laughs>